Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is tech I bought for under $15. This is the tablet episode. This was, well, it's not technically under $15. It was, with tax, it was $15.83. So, um, let's open it. Um... They haven't even opened it yet. I already saw something I didn't like. It's not really about the product. Yes. Packing peanuts. Oh. Wait. Nice packaging. So, here it is. This is an iPad first gen. This straps might be annoying. Need to be careful. There it is, the iPad first generation. This is supposed to work fine. I don't remember what version of iPad OS or um, iOS it's on. Yeah, in the listing it also looked like it had a bunch of scratches. Yeah, it does. Um, so. That's on. Oh. It's turning on, but I noticed this dent. Look at that. It's like really good. The 30 pin dock, not dock, the port will fit in, but wow. Yeah, need that zoomed in. Yeah, that right there. Here it is. This wasn't wiped. About, you know, 5.1.1. Yeah, it is signed in. General, I'm gonna wipe it now. Wrong thing. Um, you'll figure out how to wipe it. So here it is. Reset. Up here in the. There we go. That's why I want to be here. Just gonna go through the setup. Can I enter the password before it shows my Wi Fi? There's a new iPad. Hmm. I'll sign in. So here it is. Um, I couldn't sign into my Apple ID because something went wrong with the Wi-Fi network. Hmm. Let's let's connect it. So it's pretty nice. So um, thanks for watching. I will have a. Probably in between Thursday and Saturday, I'll have another video coming out. So, thanks for watching. Click subscribe, and bye.
Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is Things I Got for Under $15, Episode 2. Um, I won this in a bidding war. I won it for $6.50. and ended up costing $12 because of shipping. So, can't tell you what it is yet. But, oh. Wow. Hold on. Yeah. I don't think I'm opening it right. Wait. I need to break the label on the other side. I didn't need to break the label on the other side, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, it's nice. This. Oh, this is a nice cord. Okay, so, um. Zoom out now. So, oh, this is very nice. Huh. Oh. So, this is, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Even came with this nice cord. It's red. That's my favorite part about it. It's red. So now I'm... It might have some charge left. I got one of these before. So I'm in... Um... Oh! Oh, hey Brad. Oh yeah, there's two... Dots right there. Oh. So, mm. that that right there is kind of distracting, but it's fine. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna reset it and put my stuff on it. Oh, he has. Why would you leave your music on it? Let's see what he has on it. Um, so I have it connected. On the on the iPod it's over here. So he has um five hundred songs on here. This is an eight gigabyte model. It's video. I haven't been able to get video on it or on any iPod. Because I have a 5th gen classic too. So, um, before I reset it, I'm going to see what video is on here. I didn't really show any actual video. So, what it said the video was, it was a podcast. So, um, Brad Light, National Geographic. So, um, I'm going to put my actual stuff on it now. So, um, enjoy the time lapse. So, the sinking finished. And the next thing I'm going to do is change the name. You know, yeah.
Not the best name, I may change it later. So, let's go. Go back to the iPod. So, yeah. I'm gonna eject it. Um, oh, there it is. There it goes. So there it is. Oh. No. I don't want it connected. Oh my gosh. What's in this? I didn't damage the charging port. Hmm. That was not very fun. So, yeah, there's that. Hmm. Try to add some videos on it. This guy's podcast still stayed. Stayed. Um, I'm gonna keep these on there for no reason. Cause why not? So, this adds like, this is what the previous owner like to watch or listen to. Hey, that guy. Yeah, I had some trouble with the menu button. I just, I, the reason I bought this is, well, it was a good deal. And I broke my other third gen nano, which, um, It's the same color. Yeah, the screen went white and I took it apart after. I tried to get in it because, like, the, the case was lifting up from the thing. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't dare open that. I'd probably break it. So, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and bye. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is the iPod Touch 2nd Generation. The iPod Touch 2nd Generation was released in 2008 with options of 8, 16, and 32 gigabytes. This iPod Touch right here is 8 gigabytes, and it is running iOS 4.2.1. Even though iOS 4 came with functionality with um, wallpaper, this didn't. It has lock screen wallpaper, but it doesn't have an actual wallpaper for some reason. I guess Apple, well, anyone would guess that, that they didn't think this could handle it. But I think I tried something with jailbreaking, and it seemed to work fine, but it was their decision. This also was the first iPod Touch with Bluetooth. Um, the first one didn't have it for some reason, which an obvious reason would probably be no one's really using Bluetooth in 2007, and people probably started using it maybe 2008. Or they just couldn't get the tips or whatever. When you double click the home button, you get music options. You also have Google Maps. I want to show my location, but you know, I'll show a random location and show sure that kind of works. See, there it is. It's working. New York. Um, um, I don't know if it like does directions or anything. Directions. Apparently, directions. Do also work, so this is a completely working version of Google Maps. Yeah, like I mentioned before, no app switcher. Those came with stock iOS apps. I think this was the first iOS version with um, Game Center. 
YouTube doesn't work. Nothing here really works except Google Maps and like photos, calendar, and stuff like that. The music app is basically the old iOS music app. It has cover flow and stuff like that. And yeah, the weather doesn't work. It just has options and just sits on updating forever and sometimes shows hey doesn't work before i end the video i do have a discord server link is in the description so if you want to join that you can so other than that thanks for watching please subscribe and bye hey guys this is grant and big package uh, let's see what it is. If you watched the last video, you'll, or if you saw the title, yeah, you'll know what it is. So, can't really film me opening it because my information is on the other side. And the tape is also on the other side. So, that didn't, that didn't sound right. Hold on. Alright, I don't know, why is it gonna, you know, that's a lot of bubble wrap. Alright, so, as you can already tell, it is, oh wow, this thing has a lot of stickers on it. This was a $20 so much. All we have to do now is play. It has the right charger. I think that will work. Smart hope. Alright, so there's a website right there. We do have a thingy plugged in somewhere. Hold on. Alright. Found it. We're going to see the HDMI. If it fits. You gotta be kidding me. Sadly, there is nothing I can do. So, another thing no power. I have to buy a charger. Probably should have seen that. I'm going to get all the stickers off. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, I have a video on the phone soon. Because I bought a battery. And bye. Hey guys, this is Grant. And this is all of my tech. I haven't done a video on this since like February. And I have gotten, um, a lot more. So, let's get started. Like the first video, um, the mobile devices are going to come first, and then the computers and cameras and stuff. So, the first device is this iPad 3. Uh, I believe it's is yeah it's 32 gigabyte on 9.3.5 for some reason i don't know if other people are having this problem i think i just have to re jailbreak phoenix is no longer available apparently and also the next one is also an ipad i'm just doing this first this was 
my main iPad. I'm gonna switch to the ultra wide, it's not as good quality. So I haven't turned this on yet. This happened two months ago. There it is. Well, it's upside down. I'm going to fix that. There it is. So what happened? I was on a road trip. I leaned over to get a water bottle. And I leaned on this. And it shattered the glass. I don't know how much it would cost to get it replaced. But I haven't really used it since. And it still holds a charge. Yeah. So... I did, um, um, before it was on the 16.0 beta, is there a software update? Pretty sure there is. Yeah, not gonna do that. This is a 64 gigabyte iPad 9th gen. Everything still works. It's just the crack screen. Yeah, and there's also, like, when I had the light. I'm gonna turn off the ultra light. Yeah, that.
Hey guys, this is Grant, and earlier this week, this did not come with the battery. But, I got the package with the battery. So, yeah, um, I'll open it off camera. Alright, so, here's the battery. It's very... I think this is a new, yeah, new battery. All right. Trying to, yeah, it's right there. There's a clip. Oh, yep, yeah, it looks like it fits. Near the near the battery, so I'm gonna charge it. All right, so here it is. It turned on. Normal. Okay. Oh, that was slow. Uh, not very good. Yeah, every, um, yes, okay. Menu. Menu. There we go. Alright, or settings. I'm gonna see if I can connect the Wi Fi. Settings. There's connectivity. Hmm. It's really loud. Jeez. What games are there? Hmm. Oh. Uh. So, we had a camera. Camera. There it is.
forgot that was him. Um. Yeah, uh, I probably need the SD card to take pictures anyway. Yeah, music player. No what? Uh, gonna put some music on it. But I didn't need. I didn't need to take the battery out for that. Um, yeah, there's that. So I have the um, SD card. Um, get uh, slots right there. There you go. Alright, I waited for a while for it to charge. And uh, at first I didn't know, but you turn it on with this button. Yeah, there we go. And it does that. Cool music. I don't know why it fades though. It says the world phone. Yeah. It's loading. Eight. Shut up. Yes. Yes. Oh, music. Oh, crap. I'm gonna put that back in. Alright, all I want to do is play music. Yeah, the battery didn't fall out. What's AT and T music? Oh, it's loading. Yes.
Okay, I'm gonna go to my stuff. Audio? No, maybe it's... Use space. Kilobytes? Is that, is that why it's swing? All right. I'm going to see if I can... Stop it. This is probably one of the worst phones I have ever seen. It's not white. I wouldn't say it keeps getting worse, but it's not getting better. That's what I was trying to do. Phone. I think this would be about. Ah! Reset. Yes. Store phone. All right, I'm gonna let it do that. All right, so here it is. Finally, all right. So the experience is, I would say, it's much better than it was before. It's not beeping. What does it want me to do? Yeah, whatever, I agree. Mm. Fine, I'll agree. This video is probably way too long. Headphones. Oh. 
All right. So, I don't know. I don't think you can see. Hmm. How do I keep clicking on things? Yeah, 10 days free. I'm not paying for it. Just shut up. Didn't want to throw it that far. Yeah. You know what? Since, um, couldn't recognize the card with the music on it. I, let's just, I'm gonna end the video, so, um, thanks for watching. Well, yeah, the reason I'm ending the video is 15 minutes, or, this is like the second part, so, it's gonna be more than 15 minutes, so, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and bye. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is an Apple TV. And... Price on this was great. I bought this for around two dollars, and yes, it it does work. Can't really prove that because I need a TV or whatever. It also it didn't come with a remote, but perf. It took me um, a lot of trial and error, but I did get this remote from. Uh, um, this Apple TV to work. Uh, the camera fell. This is a third gen. I just had... Well, yeah, I was noticing the... Yeah. And, yeah, I, then I got it working. So, yeah, it was a great deal. So now I'm gonna show you and look around the software. Alright, this is... The first video, I think, like this. Maybe, um, there was a few other videos. But, yeah, there's the cord. I had to put it here. It was kind of pulling. Uh, uh, pause it, because I need to plug it in. Alright. Oh, that was shaky. Here it is. Yeah, for some reason, when it's booting... It blinks. It, or maybe did that before I um, restored it. Yeah, yeah, it still blinks. I don't really know what's wrong. Yeah, get the remote. And it did it. Yep. No, I don't have the sound on. Yeah. Yeah, so here it is. I had to unplug it and then plug it in again. But here is the boot up sound. It does, like, it gets really hot. Which, I don't know if I should be concerned about that. This doesn't have any iCloud. But I used this old computer over here because it has an older version of iTunes on it to connect it and put music on it. Yeah, it doesn't always register. Oh, yep, there you go. And then the music sometimes loads. It Like, there's music up here. Yeah, there. There's the music. I don't have anything else on here. Come... 
But I didn't know this at first. But it has a 144 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm just going to put all my music files on there. And um, I did try to put some videos or movies on there. And it didn't work. So I'm going to have to look up um, what resolution it can handle. And now it can download stuff in that resolution so I can play it. So there isn't really much to do. See, since old iOS had YouTube, um, this had YouTube as well. And radio. I haven't tried that. But... Yes, is anything selling? That'd be cool if it worked. Yeah, wait for it to load. Since um, I have to go somewhere, I uh, didn't really have time. So um, thanks for watching, for subscribe, and bye. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is the iPhone 5S, and I'm going to see if I can downgrade it. Um, I watched a video where this guy, like, he had to downgrade, um, his device to 8.4.1 through, like, changing some files or whatever, and I want to try that with this to see if I can get an, to see if I can get an older version of iOS. So, um... I linked the guy's video in the description. What he was doing was he was using Pool Booter on the iPhone 5. So, you should probably connect the Wi-Fi though. If you just jailbroke um, your iPhone just like me, um, I'm pretty sure this might work on the iPhone 6 by the way. So, if you have an iPhone 6, you can try it if you want. And you complete upgrade and confirm it. That was my watch charger. I'm just gonna pause it and let it do its thing. You press restart springboard after you've upgraded everything. Oh. So, the next thing you search is, yeah, click the wrong letter, you, um, uh, get, f fills a fire file manager, you click install, and click the install button. So it should be installing right now. It doesn't so much code or whatever. Um, it, it doesn't download. So just try it again. Reloading data. Alright, you return to Cydia. Now, go here, it will go all the way back, and you click System, Library, Core, Core Services, scroll all the way down. Click system version dot plus. You click root. Now this is where you change some stuff. Alright, this won't downgrade you, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put right here iOS 
replace that with Iowa 7.0, just put 7.0.2. Then you type this in, 11A, capital A, 501. Click save, you click done. You go home, and now if you power it down. Alright, so now you power it on. Alright. Oh, it's doing it, it's doing it. Maybe it will work. The reason I'm doing it like this is because Sometimes the jailbreak doesn't work for me, and I don't want to see it work, and then have it not work the second time when I try to do the video. So, I still don't, I don't know if it works. Alright, so, you just let it load, or wait until the progress bar, bar fills up. Alright, so, alright, let's see if it worked. I'll blur that out. General about 7.0.2. Let's wait. Well, that's not good. Hey guys, this is Grant, and I got a new phone. This is an upgrade, obviously, from my current phone, the Samsung Galaxy A50 15 5G. Yes, that has already been opened and activated and stuff. So, here it is. This is the whoa, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. This is the last video that's going to be recorded on the phone here. That you that I filmed this with, and um, I'm looking forward to making new videos. So, thanks for watching. And yeah, you know what? The video's not over yet. I'm gonna make sure there's no information showing, and we're gonna yeah, there's no information showing, and you know, so we're gonna turn up the brightness. Here it is. It's pretty smooth. Well, I like it so far. So um, definitely has better cameras and all the other improvements. Now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and so yeah. This is the case I got. And bye. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this iPhone 4 is iCloud Lock, even though it was advertised as not to be. So, what am I going to do? Destroy it. First, we have some basic dropping. No cracks at all. All right, next. I think I missed. Found it. Oh, hit right there. It's still working. Um, first shot. Wow. Uh oh, oh no. Still activation lock. That was a mistake. Um, drop test done for now.
<clears throat> All right, so another part. No, what's gonna happen now? No. I'm gonna leave it there and see what happens and do a time lapse. Yeah, I was gonna keep doing that. So, um, I pulled the plug, it is boot looping. I don't know if it'll ever stop. If I only do it till it runs out of battery. So, I'll meet you at the next challenge, I guess. Alright, so, the next challenge for this phone is in here. Turned on. For some reason. Oh. So. I'll meet you back when it is completely frozen. Alright, so here it is. It's not all the way frozen, but I need to get this done. So, it's been two days since I did all the tests, and, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. I already took the battery out, because it's going to be smashed. Yeah, that one's stick down either. So, no. That left it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That looks cool. Um, don't really know what's much to say. Smash. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. There's, I have a Discord that will be in the description. I don't really have anything else. Sometimes I do polls. Um, on what video ideas. The reason this one was it is this was in second place, but. The reason this one happened is because I can't find what I need for, I, I didn't, wait, I didn't find the phone that I need for that. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is the iPod video. The iPod video was released in 2005 with a 30 gig model and a 60 gig model. This is the 30 gig model. Right off the bat, just like basically any other iPod, get six options music, photos, videos, extras, settings, and shuffle songs. I can't really represent the video function or 
so the video function right now because I can't find any videos that will play on it so that's disappointing but this is how fast it shuffles and the games it has uh, lost focus. are basically classic iPod games brick music quiz parachute and solitaire and I can play some of them brick is pretty fun I do play parachute more often though And, yeah, you can usually get these for around $50 or $54. That's why I paid for this one. And you can get more expensive or, like, more storage probably for around $64 or $70. So, um, yeah, this is a nice device. Keep in mind, you definitely don't want to mess with these or throw them around because of the hard drive. And I'm pretty sure that's what's wrong with mine because in certain... It, it just stopped... My music just stops playing and won't play again. So I think that's a hard drive problem. Eventually I'm probably going to flash mod it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Tell me if you have one of these and... What other videos you'd want? Let's try to get to 230 subscribers soon. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And bye. Something's wrong with this computer. The number lock showed up. Then, that orange light stays on and no signal. Does anyone know this problem? Please comment if you do. I'm pretty confused. I've had this computer for a while. I just haven't really done anything about it. So... Thanks for watching. Maybe you can help. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is the iPod Touch 4th Generation. This iPod Touch was released in 2010 alongside the iPhone 4. This iPod Touch isn't really compatible with many apps, and you can't even download older versions sometimes. So I had to jailbreak it and download this tweet called Checkmate Store. And, um... The apps do sometimes work pretty good, so I'm going to show you some gameplay of Temple Run. Is that an ad? Yeah, it is. I did install some hacks for Temple Run, but they haven't really been working. So I'm just going to leave it as is and play some Temple Run. So as you can see, sometimes it does lag like between animations. And if you've been playing it for the game for a while. On Minecraft, it doesn't really load very well. So, there's that. Some apps, like Spotify, they do work, which is really great. And some apps, like, I don't have the actual YouTube app installed. I use a tweak to install the older one. But the actual version of the YouTube app doesn't work anymore, and um, there used to be a way to fix it, but the person that found that way, um, well, it just doesn't work anymore, and he's working on it, so there's that. Also, this was the first iPod with a camera. Sometimes it takes, um, well, first iPod touch with a camera. Sometimes it takes a while to look. That's just a problem with my iPod. <laughs>
So when I do it like this, it actually loads. So the cameras aren't very good on this iPod. So you can't really expect much out of them. This iPod is running the latest software version available for the iPod Touch 4, which is iOS 6.1.6. .6. And without jailbreaking, it's really not really worth it to use an iPod this old. So, um, later I'm going to do a video about, like, tweaks you can get on iOS 6 or whatever. Which, I did try getting Dreamboard, but I'm kind of sad that didn't work. So, keep out, keep an eye out for that video. So, um, this, another fact about this iPod is that it was the last iPod with the stainless steel design. And that's kind of sad, because it's kind of like an end of an era. Era. And... Yeah, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and bye. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is the iPod Nano 3rd Generation. The iPod Nano 3rd Generation was released in 2007. It came in 4GB capacity and 8GB capacity. The 4GB capacity usually goes for around $22. That's what I got my first iPod Nano 3rd Generation for. And... The 8GB one goes for around $35, which seems like a little much to me, but whatever, more storage, more price, or more money you have to spend. I got this one for like $12 because of an auction. It was a very good deal. If you're looking for a higher storage one, I definitely recommend trying to look at an auction first. When you wake the iPod up, you get seven options you get music you videos photos podcasts extras settings and shuffle songs pretty decent options because that's what comes with like every ipod that's running this software or this newer type of ipod software it also comes with three games right out the box iQuiz, Klondike, and Vortex. A disappointment about these games is that you cannot listen to music while you play them. When you shuffle songs, this is how fast it shuffles songs. It shuffles songs pretty fast, and of course, when you go back, you do get the now playing option, where, well, it says now playing, and you can go and see what's playing. This iPod can't do any mods, mostly because it has a flash board, or I think you can upgrade flash storage, but it's like really hard to, and there's not really a point to it, since there's a lot of other options for iPods. And it is also hard to open, which would definitely detour anyone. I haven't seen this iPod get an expanding battery like other iPods or iPod Nanos because they have like a black spot sometimes like on the screen which could definitely detour someone from buying this. In my opinion, this is, unless you want the, one of the touch, weird touch screen ones, this is the best option and I would definitely recommend it. Also... As other options and extras, I don't know why you use alarms or contacts on here, but you can if you want. You can also lock the screen, which would mean you have to type in a code for every time you want to listen to music, which I think is kind of useless. So, that is all for now. Um... Let me know what devices you'd want me to look at next. I have an iPod Classic right here, or iPod fits in. And also, I have Android phones and other stuff like that. So, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and bye. Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is the Apple TV first generation. The first generation Apple TV was released in 2007. With options of 40 gigs or 160 gigs. This is the 160 gig model. I got this at a thrift store for like 
three dollars. It was a great deal. I think they usually go for fifteen dollars. I don't know if these ones are rare or not, because I don't. Or the ones I saw didn't really list the storage, but on the back, these are the ports it has. It has power, USB, Ethernet. HDMI, the video ports, and audio ports, and also optical audio. So, let's look at the OS or software. Alright, I turned the lights off for some sort of effect, I guess. And... Yeah. Is this going to work? Everything's plugged in. There we go. There it is. This is it meeting and here's the remote. Oh shoot, no. <laughs> That's the intro. It's a little laggy. Yeah, there's just all the music and stuff. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reset it because it was slow, as you can tell. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, good. There we go. Ten eighty P Dun dun Oh no, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I need to figure out what resolution this does. Go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, it looks sharper. Yeah. Uh, what may you do in settings? Yep, there you go. Remotes. Huh. That is cool. This thing won't focus. Oh, I did it. Sorry for the bad quality of the thing before. I'm gonna reset it. Factory restore. Yeah, and oh well. 
You know, let it do its thing. Or. Yeah, it just boots up with the menu. There's not really much to erase, is there? Now. Refocus and. I wonder if that's the best it's going to get. You like the big noise? Uh, let's just wait. Okay, that didn't pause. Looks like it's coming on. Yeah, there it is. Need to find the... Maybe that's a little bit better? Yeah. It's not really... working out very well. Find the remote. Alright, so... The Apple TV first generation... No, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Alright, it's booting again. Alright, should work. There we go. I was about to pause it. Boom, big TV. I'll probably blur that out. You have to set up the Apple TV. Um, well, for some reason, this Apple TV is like the one thing that Apple decided not to allow in new, newer versions of iTunes, and I guess newer Macs too. So you have to have like iTunes 11 or under. So I'm going to enter the code. Renaming... Renaming my Apple TV. Yeah, that's the limit. Yeah, use... there, there it is. Yeah, see, that's um, I think that's a decent amount of storage. Yeah, and that's the old UI. So, I'm going to put some stuff on it, and yeah. So, here it is now. As you can see, it's much faster. You press menu, you get other options. I don't have anything else on this. I'm going to make the screensaver albums. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for 215 subs. You got like two today or whatever. Let's try to get to 120 soon. I decided to start. Probably should have done this like working harder on videos. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and bye.